five zero degrees at two two altimeter two nine nine two clear to land. Air fourteen one one five zero degrees at one two clear for takeoff. The old man wants to see both of you right now. Mm, I like your haircut. Like yours too. fun things about this job. It's reading the complaints of the public. Now, for example, tonight here, we have a fella that didn't appreciate us disturbing his sleep. I just hope I'm not called on by the chief to explain why two of my people were hovering over Encino at 10.30 p.m. while Commissioner McNeely was getting the shit kicked out of her in her very own front yard in fashionable Brentwood. McNeely, Lyndon Rose, that's her? Of the Mayor's Special Task Force on Urban Violence. A little touch of irony there if you like that sort of thing, huh? How is she? She was shot, Frank. She's in intensive care. Shot by one of the rapists. One of the rapists? Assault and battery, attempted rape, that's what they're calling it downtown. It wasn't any rape. Well, the case is closed. They got two toes tagged in the morgue to prove it. That abandoned car we called in. The Chevy. That was a stakeout. No, no stakeout. A makeout. A couple of kids that couldn't afford a hot sheet motel. Kids go to Mulholland. They don't go to a dead-end street in Brentwood. That's not the pattern. Forget the patterns, Frank, period. And get the hell off my desk, will you? Get off. All right. Doesn't bother you that that car doesn't have any plates? Doesn't bother you that that car wasn't there when we came back? It doesn't bother you that rapists don't travel I'll to tell you what bothers me, Frank, is some bright-eyed son of a bitch may get the idea to ask what the hell you were doing five miles out of your assigned patrol area. That's what bothers sir, me. Sir, when I'm talking to you, Lyman Good, I'll be looking at you. Well, I just wanted to say, sir, that that was my fault. I talked Murphy into taking us there. You're supposed to be stupid, son. Don't abuse the privilege. You think I haven't heard about that silly twit out there in Encino, for Christ's sakes? I had 20 years in this outfit when your idea of a big time was sitting in front of the TV tube, watching Bugs Bunny, and gnawing on your fudgesicle. And to jog your memory, Officer Murphy, there are people in this community who do not like police officers. They do not like the idea of helicopters flying over their homes, peeking in their windows. You know what they'll do with this? They'll burn you, me, your idiotic friend here, and my whole damn division. And I don't want my division burnt. So here's the way it's coming down with you guys. You're grounded, both of you. Ground. I got to figure out where in the hell to hide you for two weeks till all this crap blows over. Get out of here, Lyman Good. I mean, dismissed. Stay around, Frank. You know, the uh, review board wants to have you up for psychiatric reevaluation. Oh, come on. Well, what do you expect after your little wig out last month? But there's a bright side to this and a moral. I think morals are good for you. I love morals. And the moral of this story is if you're walking on eggs, don't hop. That's it. 